Why would you do such a thing? It's so petty. No, 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 no. What's petty is you not cleaning properly. Well, I clean like I always do. Yeah, lazily, badly, incompetently. I worked hard. And yet you didn't clean there, there, or there. Okay, 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 I will clean it now. Oh, don't bother. It's too late. I'll do it myself. Jeffrey, please. Oh, give it a rest, will you? You're like a stuck record. And I'm sorry. Look at this carpet covered in bits. Another thing to add to my list. Oh, God, I, can, I can do that. No, I'm doing it myself. Jeffrey, please. It's Jeffrey. What? Jeffrey. You're being, you're being ridiculous. Don't call me ridiculous. Let go. No. Let go, will you, woman? Let go. <laughs> ah! Oh no. Ah! Are you okay? Oh, no, of course I'm not your stupid woman. I just whacked my head on the table. I'll get some ice. Oh. <sighs> really sorry for everything, okay? And um, give my love to Gina. No, no, no. Don't give my love. Just say Aya or something. And um, uh, let me know that you've got there, okay? OK, bye-bye, bye-bye. What's going on next door? Having a bit of a domestic. <sighs> well, I'm trying to study and all I can hear is Grandad booming. No, he's got one of them voices, I'm afraid. Can't you go around and sort it out? I'm joking, are you? I'm not getting involved. Just put your headphones on or something. Do you think they'll be all right? Yeah, yeah, people are. You look at me and Sally over the years. How is it with you and Sally? Yeah, fine. Nothing for you to worry about. I'm not. You want to tell your face that, though. Fizz loves both of our girls. Of course she does. And she's not going to hurt either of them, is she? I don't care what anyone says. Until the matter has been investigated, I'm afraid Fiona won't be able to have any unsupervised contact with the children. Contact? She's their mum! Well, the alternative is that Fiona stays here and the children remain in care. Right. She has done nothing to her hope. And if she moves out, she looks guilty. Unfortunately, my hands are tied. Look, I'm just following procedure. Oh. Look, maybe, maybe Fizz should move out. Well, I thought you was on my side. Yes, I am, but we're not going to get this one to budge, are we? Look, <clears throat> we've got to think about what's best for the kids, and what's best for the kids is that they stay in their own home. Yeah, with a mum and dad. Listen, we stick together as a family and fight these stupid allegations. I am not having us split up over this. Bath was made up that you let her have Bertie for the afternoon. Mm. I feel left out now. Yeah, me too. I want to see my godson and give him his present. All right, then. You can have him tomorrow night, and you can have him this weekend. Oh. Give me a chance to get some decent kip. Well, I can come round tonight if you like. Oh, no, 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 no. Apparently it's the last night in, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You are joking. Um, it's me and Bertie. Have a few beers, maybe a bit of milk, watch a film. Oh, hiya. Do you want a drink? Uh, no, thanks, love. I just want a word with my wife. Well, go on then, Steve. Should we go back to the flat? No, here is fine. I want everyone to hear what I've got to say. Go on then. Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking about us, our relationship, things that have happened, things that can't be undone. And I realise that we need to sort it out, so I have come to a decision. Tracy MacDonald, will you Remarry me. No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Steve, I can't. Brought you a cup of tea? I'm not thirsty. Oh, don't be like that. I'm not being like anything. I haven't got time for tea. <laughs> You should be resting. You're injured. Well, this house isn't going to clean itself, and you're clearly not capable of doing it. I mean, who lives like this? It's worse than a pigsty. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. <sighs> Do you know what? I've had enough. It's too much for me. I feel like Canute trying to hold back a tide of filth. <sighs> Jeff, please. I don't want to argue. Leave me alone. I don't believe this. Not back by my own flipping wife. I'm trying to fix things here. It's going to take more than some daft romantic gesture to fix us. Oh, well, everyone goes through problems from time to time. Well, forget about what other people are doing. This is about us. We've got to be honest with each other. I am being honest with you. I love you. Oh. Well, it didn't stop you getting your leg over with a Battersby tart, did it? 
just before our wedding. I, I thought we sorted that. No, Steve. We didn't sort it. Just forgot about it. Oh, I'm sorry. You know I am. It just kind of happened. It's not just that, is it? I'm a nightmare at times, and I know that. And it must be why you had your doubts and did what you did. I mean, who'd be married to me? I would. Look, I love being with you. Just don't think that's enough, Steve. Oh, well, of course it is. We love each other, don't we? We're going to throw everything away. Things will get back to normal. Amy's moving back in soon and... Well, if things were that normal, she wouldn't have moved out in the first place. Listen. If we're going to get through this, we're going to have to have some extra help. Well, like a cleaner. We can't afford that. No, not like a cleaner. But I have got another idea. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. no, not that either. Oh. <clears throat> what did they say? Um, they're looking into Jade's allegations. They've ruled out me and Manana, so the girls can come home. As long as you don't live here. So me talking to the police made no difference. This is so unfair. I'm being punished for something I haven't done. Yeah, exactly, which is why I've told them you're going nowhere. And where will the kids go then? Well, they stay here too. We stick together and we fight this. We can't do that. We'll keep them in care. Well, we won't let them. We can't stop them, Ty. The girls need to be at home. I can move out. It's fine. It's fine. I'll get a BMW. I don't want you to. I don't want to either. I haven't got any choice of her. This is dreadful. Who would do such a thing? Kids, drunk people. Don't know. It happens a lot around here. We need to inform the authorities. May I use your telephone? No. Right, just leave it, please. It's only a bit of egg. It doesn't bother me. Well, it should do. This is an act of vandalism. The perpetrators must not be allowed to get away with this. Yeah, but they will, won't they? Because that's life. Bad stuff happens, and if you report them, it'll make it worse. Well, look, wouldn't you feel safer if you, you moved into my flat? Stay as long as you wish. No. I want to stay here. It's my home. It was our home. I just reorganised the jars, that's all. It's alphabetical now. The, the traffic light lollies are at the, the far end with the treacle toffee. I, OK, there's no need to shout. Rita. Rita. Oh, she's hung up on me. Oh, dear. oh, first shift back and already we're in hot water. Well, uh, you can go and face the music. I've got to grab my bag off Yasmin. Coward. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yas! I need it to pop by. I left my bag at yours earlier. Hold on, I'll, I'll bring it over to you later if you like. No, you're all right. I'll just get it now. It's it's not a good time. Jeff's having a nap. Well, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll be quiet like a teeny tiny mouse. Mm. He's not feeling great. I don't want to disturb him. He's got a migraine. What you like? I'm only going to be two seconds. Come on, Yasmin. I've got to get back to the cabin. I'm lost him at the loo. Okay. Yeah, I think it's in the kitchen. I'll be as quick as I can. Where the hell have you been? My eye's killing me and I can't find any damn painkillers anywhere. We'll talk about it later. No, we'll talk about it now. Why have you been gone so long? I want to get some biscuits to say I'm sorry. You've been gone seven minutes. Since when does it take seven minutes to go to the shop? Uh, <clears throat> found it. OK. You should have told me we had guests. Oh, would you like a brew? No, no, you're, uh, you're all right. Uh, I should get going. <laughs> oh, your eye looks bad. Is that why you've got a migraine? I haven't got a migraine. Oh, <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see myself out. <laughs> Bye.
Let me go and speak to Kathy. I'll explain. No. Just leave it. It only makes things worse. Everybody has rows. She knows that. But not everyone has a wife like you constantly caught in aggro. Am I? I can't believe you even have to ask me that. It's everything. The drinking, the mess. It's one thing after another. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realise you felt this way. Well, no wonder everyone ends up moving out and leaving you. What do you mean? Well, Zidane, Rana, your ex-husband, all a coincidence. And the worst thing is, I hate myself for being so annoyed, but I can't get away from it. It's you that makes me feel like this. I don't know what to do. What, you mean it was the same gun that shot Robert on Christmas Day? And Jay's told the police all about it. Oh, I bet she has skimmy little mare. Now Fizz has been charged with possession of a firearm without a license. She in court tomorrow. Oh, poor girl. She must be going out of her mind. Yeah, she is. Listen, don't say out to anyone, though. She wants to keep a lid on it. I'll, I'll go. I'm not going to say anything. I might give me some credit. I know I like a bit of gossip, but not when it's serious stuff. Yeah, I missed you. Oh, missed you too. Oh, that's nice. It's all right, you can do one, darling. Well, do I get a cuddle from you too? It's okay. Would it be all right if I just pop to your loo? Oh, you've got a cheek, haven't you? You force the mother out and then you quite. Of course you can. The... It's just at the left. Thanks. Right. Hope. Shall we have a little chat now about these stories that you've been telling? Yeah, can we just let them get settled first? Where's Mummy? Ah, oh, yeah, it's interesting you should ask that. Nana? Uh, girls, Mummy's not feeling great, so she's gone to stay with a friend for a little while. Why don't you take your uniforms off and then we can have some tea, eh? Go on, then. Go on. Good girls. More stories, more lies. When's it going to end? So, Tracy, do you want to start? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we've been having some problems in our relationship. What sort of problems? Well, just the usual stuff, I suppose. <laughs> Steve? Usual? She slept with another woman. <laughs> and how did that make you feel? Angry, but I've forgiven her, so... You know. Oh, that's big of you. And what's that supposed to mean? Me sleeping with Paula was just a symptom of the problems we've got in our marriage. I am sensing quite a bit of tension. <sighs> say that again. What would you say was the cause of this tension? Hey. Uh... Hope. Right, I'm going to ask you something and I need you to tell me the truth, OK? Why are you making up stories about your mummy hurting you? You know it's wrong to lie. Why are you making things up? Has Jade made you do it? I know she is behind all this, so just tell Daddy the truth. Right, do you remember how upset you was when you had to go and live in Birmingham? Well, if you don't start being honest, this family might split up for good and you may never see your mum again. Is that what you want? Hey? I'm afraid I will have to bill you for the clock. He's paying. You threw it. Oh, only because you were banging on about Becky again. OK, I think I've heard enough. Oh, I'm only just getting started. Oh, yeah. When she starts picking on me, she can go for days. I am not picking on you, Steve. I am pointing out your faults. Rather than highlighting each other's flaws, a good tactic in this sort of extreme case can be to try and focus on your partner's positive qualities. Tracy, would you like to go first? Steve. Well, I'm, um, she's got nice hair. Is that the best you can do? Well, at least I'm trying. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. But moving forward, I want you to try to be nice to each other. Uh. 
Right then. Now that you're all cleaned up after you've had your tea, you ready for your special treat? Me? Now, your mummy knew that she wasn't going to be here for your birthday. So she's made you a special message. Are you ready? I'm excited. Hello, Bertie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm not there with you today. But I'm thinking of you. And I miss you very, very much. I do. But I know Daddy's there with you. And he's giving you lots of hugs and kisses. And presents, presents. from me. Oh, I hope you have a lovely day, sweetheart. I love you. I love you lots and lots like jelly tops. They egged a door on the day of a dad's funeral. I mean, the one's stringing up. I cleaned it off, but I'm fearful of a repeat performance. She's intimated it wasn't the first time. Does she know who's doing it? Oh, she says not. I I've offered to let her come and stay, but she's declined. OK, well, we can keep going and checking in on her, you know. Yes, but I remain troubled. She is my niece. I feel responsible. And you're doing everything you can for Roy, OK? You can't make her move out, you know, if she doesn't want to. Oh, Sally will come back, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. But she's only going to see Gina. Oh, well, that's nice. She's still friends with her sister. You know, after uh, getting Sally sent to prison and trying to cop off with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what can I get you? Nothing, sir. I just wondered if you had any bar work for Chesney. I forgot to ask earlier. I mm, don't think so, but I'll check with Johnny when he gets back. Maybe try the bistro. I've already been there. Nothing doing. Mm, what about speed down? Oh, that's a good idea. I'll go and ask Jasmine or Jeff. Yeah, wouldn't bother if I were you. They've had a right old ding-dong. Could hear him through the walls. Are you talking about Jeff and Yasmin? Yeah, yeah. Proper kicks off, they have. Did you go around? You're joking, are you? I'm not getting involved in my dad's love life. I'm staying well out of it. Seen a bit, thanks. A uh, pint of mild and an orange juice, please, Emma. I told you something was up. Oh, he's all right, he's Jeff. You should have heard how he talked to Yasmin. It was nasty. And why is she lying about him having a migraine? I've no idea. Something's not right. I need to speak to her. Are you sure that's wise? It's like Tim said, it's not really our business, is it? Yeah, it is, actually, cos she's my friend. I'm going to find out what's really going on round there. Where did you go? I tried to ring you. I needed to get out, clear my head. And I did some thinking. And I want to apologise for having a go at you. It's OK, I understand. Oh, I lost my temper and that was unforgivable. But the truth is, I'm struggling with my health. I know. You have a dust allergy. No, it's not just that. Look, I, I, I didn't want to worry you because I thought we could stay on top of it, but... The doc reckons it's linked to what I had before. Oh, no. I thought you were over that. I was getting over it, but... Well, this is a bit of a setback. I'm so sorry. And if it gets any worse, it's respiratory problems, asthma, and you know where that goes when you're my age. Oh, please don't talk like that. These little red crosses, they're not some daft game. I'm not trying to get it here. I'm trying to save my life. I'm sorry if I overreacted. No, no, it's, it's not your fault. It's mine. I will make sure the house is spotless. I promise you, your health must come first. Thanks, love. 
You bought me some biscuits to say sorry. So <laughs> I bought you something too. For me? You shouldn't have. I don't deserve it. <laughs> a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. It's a little beauty, this. Top of the range. Lots of attachments, allergy filters, the works. It's gonna change our lives. <sighs> I'll test drive it straight away. I think I've got everything. Thanks. How are the girls? Yeah, yeah, they're fine. Yeah. What, you're not telling me? I tried talking to Hope. But she won't say anything. She just ignored me. She just carried on colouring like I wasn't even there. Well, maybe she's just tired, eh, after all the moving about? No, it's more than that. It's as if she's changed. It's like a switch has gone off inside her. It's Jane. All this rubbish she's been feeding as she's brainwashed her. I can't cope with this time. I, I can't. After all the stuff we've been through with Hope and now my God. Hey, we've got through worse and we'll get through this. The waiting's finally over. After the break, it's the Series 9 premiere of Cold Feet right here on ITV. And the temperature's rising in the brand new Cape Town Love Island Villa. Find out who the twins will choose to couple up with over on ITV2 next. <laughs>